did did you just forget to attack chief or what, what's happening here well forget or not forget there <laughs> oh god how's it going boys today we are playing the 2022 standard Q, and it's a giants deck when giants came out initially they weren't so good because well they kind of had big damage but their damage kind of revolves around combos they were kind of decent but a little bit of a meme but now in the standard 2022 Q, giants are pretty good because in the giant spectrum you currently have aoe removal that doesn't affect you yourself most of the time card draw a lot of card draw huge damage and huge combo potential so that's a lot for one archetype to say the least so you have glimpse the cosmos that can draw you two cards and it's pretty uh, un inexpensive cinder clasm against uh, against uh, aggro decks crush the week against aggro decks and actually pretty good against cleric decks because it exiles, and that's a big deal. Then you have a lot of aggressive things. Uh, Invasion of the Giant deals 2 damage. We have 2 Sagas here. And it makes everything cheaper. And Giants are not cheap by default, but Invasion of the Giants makes Giants cheap. You can drop a Calamity Bearer on turn 3, and that's a little bit powerful to say the least. You can, you can drop a Quake Bringer on turn 3. Quake Bringers prevent life gain. That is extremely powerful. You have one of the best removals, considering it can be 2 cost. 6 damage, creature or planeswalker. For 2 mana is insanely good. And obviously it becomes even better because we have uh, the Freezing Flame, Igar. This card is amazing. Again, more card draw. And more removal with Battle of Frost and Fire. You scry, you draw, you deal damage. Admittedly, you know, the drawing part is a little bit convoluted, considering we only have technically, uh, well, two cards that are five mana, but that is not usually the biggest problem. It's still removal and it's scries, and the scrying part is pretty, uh, pretty important. So, if there is a situation where someone is not removing your giants per turn, they are probably gonna lose. Because Giants have extreme combo ability. Oh yeah, and you have Shatter Skull Charger, which is a giant warrior, uh, warrior for 3 with haste. Everything with haste currently is a very strong. And for 5 mana, this bad boy can be a 6, 5 or whatever it was. I forgot, doesn't matter. Essentially big boy. And that's, that's kind of the big deal. Uh, Calamity Bearers just make it so Giants need to be blocked every turn. And again, if you have a Freezing Flame out and Giants are attacking, you can block them, you can kill them, but the value is still going to be there because you're drawing cards. Giants as combo works extremely well. And considering the meta is a lot, lot, lot slower, well, Giants can now combo pretty easily. There are some ways you can do a little bit things around it that are pretty decent. But, you know, you have some Giants. For example, I'm just gonna write in Giants. You have this that you can potentially use. It's a 5 card Giant that costs less for each uh, other Giant. And it can fetch you some kind of, uh, you know, semi rat spell or whatever. Or a little bit of card draw. Then you have this, which is pretty good whenever it attacks you may cast instant sorcery from your hand without paying its mana cost kind of good with a little bit of memeish this is probably the best one or was this not the one there was one giant that allows you to i think it was this one right enters the battlefield if you return yeah return all permanents this is kind of like a hidden gem honestly because you can just bounce everything your opponent has and completely destroy a stalemate. But admittedly, Quake Bringers already destroy stalemates, so I would personally say it's not exactly needed. But yeah, you have a lot of other options. You have even this thing. It's a 7 3 4 5 a trample. And it has venture into the dungeon, which is a complete meme, but at the end of the day, it is a 7 3 with trample. And as you can imagine, it works great with Calamity Bearers. And you can get this bad boy out on turn 4 with Invasion of the Giants. Giants have 
a lot of combination power. I would also, by the say, by the way, say that this is pretty good, but I don't know what I would personally replace it with to do this. Uh, squash is just too good. Most of the time, you're gonna have like one or two giants out, so you know it's like, uh, salt ravager questionable. But with that being said, boys, at this point, 24 lands to be specific. And, you know, nothing really special there. Admittedly, you can probably put something in there. I should probably remove a little bit of blue here. Uh, because, you know, red is the main color that we're going to be looking for. So, yeah. Anyway, with that being said, please subscribe if you haven't already. And like the, you like the video. Liking the video is extremely powerful. It helps out in YouTube. And it helps me tremendously. And it only takes like 5 seconds for you to do. And leave comments maybe. Also, if you want to join the Discord, it's free. And there's also a Patreon. If you want to check any, any of that out, check in the video description. Every link that matters is there. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? So this is like 4 wins in a row now. Admittedly, I would say that's amazing, but you did not see me try to make a sorcery class deck with three colors, and it was horrible because turns out the sorcery at uh, sorcery class to level three does not do what I thought it does. So I lost like uh, five, six games in a row. So this is technically just uh, uh, fairness. <laughs> Oh god, what is this? Look at this. We, we are drawing so poorly. But I see green and I see a battle of frostfire and I see five lands in the starting hand. Uh, boys, it, it literally can... Oh, I know what this is. This is not a green deck. Most of the time people don't use... Why, why do you even use this? It's so disgusting. Look at it! Why would you... Why would anyone ever use this out of their free will? It is, it is not just disgusting, it is the epitome of disgusting. I need to keep that. I'm not gonna keep that, though. But yeah, oh, look at this. If ha dude, if I lived in the D&D &D universe, I'm not saying halflings would be designated as... balls with voices, but they would be. And, you know, you would not be uh, even remotely penalized for, you know, making them feel pain. Just pointing it out there. Okay, let's do demonstrate it. Ooh, that's a spicy meatball. I like it. I like it. Here we go. The, the dude of dudes. Okay, what is he gonna do now? That, wait a minute. That's actually Golgari colors. I don't know what to expect. I hope I'm gatekeeping him. <gasps> okay. Oh, no. Minus one. I still draw a card, my dude. I still draw a card, and that's literally all that matters at the end of the day. Oh! Okay, that's actually problematic. Yeah, that's what you... Okay, so this is problematic. How many of these do I have? A lot. Okay, maybe it's less problematic, magically. Wait. Oh, yeah, too, because it died. Oh, oof, off. Okay, so... No! Oh no, Woohoo! Okay, for a moment there I thought that I, uh, I misplayed, because I did. That was not my intent, I forgot that this is gonna cost two, and I thought that this is a basic land. He has gotten a lot of HP though, he has literally gotten a lot of HP. The good part is, I can draw cards now because of your stupid skilly boys. And I can deal so much damage to you, it's not even gonna be funny, someone's probably gonna call the cops on me. It's like table con abuse. But a little bit a lot first, because he most likely does not enjoy this. A lot of people now spilling uh, Skeletal Swarm decks. My initial Skeletons... Oh, dude, yeah, you can't not attack with them. That's the best part. Oh, no! I'm drawing a card now. Yeah, I, I, I kind of understand the point. You have literally created two thingies, but at the end of the day, man, do you think that's going to matter? <gasps> No, you can't just do that. That's illegal. Seriously, you chose Halfling? Dude, that, that life gain is just dumb. 
Okay, how do I want to do this now? I honestly think we're really on the back foot. But control decks are good against us, what can I say? Okay, so do that. DUDE! What am I supposed to do? Battle of Frostfire is the only thing that's gonna be effective against this dude. Oh, that's so bad! At least he didn't drop another one, but you know, whatever. Okay, this is like annoying. Whenever Innkeeper enters to create it, whenever a, another creature... That's a lot of life gain. Okay, how am I supposed to do this? Honestly, I think my only chance is pretty much synonymous to this currently. Okay, I'm actually gonna use this first because it makes sense. Okay, good, 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 good. A quake, uh, a quakey boy. That, 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 that is actually exactly what I was kind of looking for in life. So next turn, I survive and it's fine. And the quakey boys means that uh, means that I can win. Uh, so attack with that 100% of the time. Why? Are you gonna minus one it or what's the deal here? Okay, so. He hasn't drawn lands, by the way, which is kind of a little bit of a frustrating thing. If he drops the second skilled and swarming, we, we, we're done. Um, yeah, that's, that, that, that's annoying. But we have locked out and gotten three battles of frost and fire. Dude, stop! That's so much life gain. It's, it's not even funny at this point. It's not even funny. Okay, do that. Draw cards, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so at this point, we're just gonna do this. And this is the best I can sadly do. This is gonna be a problem. Th this is gonna be a problem. I need to play all of the Quake Bringers, and that's pretty much my only choice at the moment. Which is not good. <laughs> Which is not good. He can remove the Quake Bringers, and if he plays another skill than Swarming at this point, I am definitely 100% losing. Yeah. There's no real way to deal with enchantments. Technically, you can do the Giant's Grip or whatever it's called. Wait, seriously? Is that the play? Oh no, dude, it feels like that. Sh Jesus Christ. Feels like that should not be the play most of the time, at least. Okay, so do this now. Okay, so technically this is not that bad. This gives me a chance. One damage, we can take it. Still got like 3 billion frost fires in hand, which is not gonna lie extremely lucky, but it is what it is. Play this, draw more cards. I have no- No! Well, okay. Oh, 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 no. Not my battle of fro- <laughs> Do you feel like a big man now? Do, do you feel like a- Oh, God. Well, okay, may, may, maybe. May, maybe. Okay, let's see what we get. Ooh. Uh, probably Cosmos goes goes away because it's still castable, right? Okay, so... How the hell do I play this? <laughs> no. Yes? No. Okay, okay, okay. Foretell this and see what happens. Foretell this and see what happens. Okay, good, 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 good. Cinderclasm. Yeah, we still have Cinderclasms and things, so we do have at least a chance for the last dance. What a matchup. Ch uh, skeleton swarming, boys. Come on. Come on! Cut me some slack here. Okay, okay, okay. That's not bad because that's literally all of his turn. That is literally all of his turn. So that's good. I. Uh, yes? Yes, magic? I will happily take literally everything of that. No, 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 absolute. Wait, how do I do this now? Dude, I can't. <sighs> okay, this is the only way, right? 
And now I can pick another one. <laughs> Oh my god, this game, dude. This, this, this absolute game. Okay, he probably thinks he wins. I'm gonna say, good game, GG, no, aha! I was lying all along, and that's impossible because I never lie. Haha. <laughs> Not gonna lie, boys, I never lie, it's true. Dude, stop killing my things! They're things! They don't want to be killed! Stop! Stop it! Okay, so, do this, play it, don't spray it. Oh, that's actually good. Okay, can I actually play all of this? No, but I can play all of this. Okay, it's, it's, it's top deck, it's top deck the, the game. And it, um, go, oh, yes, that is the winning card, that is the winning card, thank you, thank you. Oh god, that's gonna be more annoying stuff now. Look at this, dude! The dream! Actually, that's seriously, like, the dream. Okay, so do this. I still have Cinderclasms. Got it! Babe! The best! The best! Nice! The biggest hope in this deck is pretty much just not running into Dimir or Black removal. Because that's the only removal that ignores HP pretty much in, uh, currently in this standard format. And that is the one that we don't want to run into. Okay, three lands. That is actually, by the way, perfect. This in the starting hand, also perfect. And this is going to be a creature-esque deck, which is, well, also perfect to a degree. Didn't go first, which is kind of meh. But at the same time, it should be fine. It should be fine. Oh, interesting. Is this a Fractal's deck? Do those even exist? <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. Ooh. Now, I need to go for the fourth land. I need to get, like, five lands and they're completely fine. Yeah. Let's see. So, I'm gonna drop this, and then I'm gonna have Squash. If he's trying to do something with the snow-covered stuff, it's, it's it should not be that much of a problem. Three colors. What is this? Drop, put, land, blah, blah, blah. Um. Legendary. Halfling. Ugh. Disgusting. Anyway. What do I even care here about? He has... Our start is slower than his, but admittedly, at the same time, you know, it's like, um, get to go second, thank you very much. And we can literally just stop deck something that will make this guy cry himself to sleep. We technically already have battle for Frostfire, which will make him, well, cry himself to sleep. Man, that's gonna be great. He could technically pump everything up and that would be annoying. But it currently... Oh, that's... That's a little bit meh. Oh, God. He actually has a lot, huh? Okay, let's see how do I want to do this. Can I? No, that's Vard 4. Vard 4. Quite the annoying Varding. Uh, this should be fine, though. Yeah, this is fine. When he attacks, he taps. And when he taps, he gets the squash. Mwah. Lovely stuff. And there's probably no way he can- Oh my god! Oh my god, this is gonna be pure devastation! Untold levels of destruction! Did- Did you just forget to attack, Chief? Or what's happening here? Well... Forget, or not forget. There. <laughs> oh, God! Wait, is this good or bad? I can't tell. I, I can't even tell. Well, this was probably good, because now I'm attacking. Ooh. -oo. Okay. So, that was definitely devastating. That was one card that was, well, worth five or whatever. How did this work when deals damage draw? If you have fewer than three cards in your hand, oh god! Well, he's gonna have. Well, he's gonna draw a lot here. But at the end of the day, 
Do you think that really matters? I am gonna go out, out on a limb here and say no, not exactly. Uh, double squash, Jesus Christ, someone saved this poor child because he is just getting ass, but he, he, he is just not having a good day. Let's just put it like that. He is definitely not having what is commonly referred to as a good day, considering I'm gonna draw two cards, by the way, from that shabazzle. Again, a bitch giant to start off in your hand, no questions asked. I'm gonna drop this as red. Do I want to pre- yeah, I'm gonna actually go for the pre-med. And just deal damage. Giants are amazing against most creature decks. Flat out amazing. You know, look at Zemo, no one cares the card. Look at her, she's pathetic. She can't do anything against uh, the absolute destruction of the giants. Uh, what do we care for here? Uh, probably a land is unnecessary. So yeah, look at this, dude, it, it is just, it, in my opinion, it's just, wait, I'm gonna just do this because it just makes sense, right? Bye-bye. Okay, so, what do I do next? Ah, I probably play this, it's cry too at the end of the day. No, I'm, I'm gonna keep squash, though, I will definitely keep squash. But yeah, this guy is at his ropes, and why? Because he chose to play a creature deck and he queued into giants. Giants against most creature decks? Vastly overpowered. No idea what that card does. It looked- it revealed dragons, I think, and then you could go for it. Oh god, it does nothing, you're telling me? Wow, that is- that is, that is literally impressive. I did not think that that card doesn't do anything. Turns out it doesn't do anything. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go on a limb here and say it's over. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna call it now. <laughs> Against creature decks, this is common. Like, giants combo so well because they're, they're, they're instantaneously uh, combo power in giants. That's why they're so good against creature decks. But against black control, it's kind of quite sad, sadly. But it is what it is. As you saw, it is pretty ridiculous to play giants against creature decks. Most creature decks are just completely incapable of dealing with giants. Giants are combo cards, but the thing that they have above other combo cards is currently... Th they just combo the moment they are dropped, right? Also, this is questionably a mulligan. Um, that's Christ, so I'm actually gonna take it. Also, we go first, Uvu. Decline! Show him that we have nothing, and then drop a, qu uh, qu a Quake Bringer at turn 3. Oh, that's... that 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 is something that I like. That means it's either some kind of is it control that no one cares about in their life, or it's, you know, something of equal bad value. Currently, again, the only decks I really fear is anything in the colors of Dimmer. Dimmer is a problem, because giants are technically slow. They cost uh, 4, 5 and whatever mana for the most part. And that just makes them, well, unappealing to say the least against control decks. Admittedly, you do have this bad boy, which is a 4-3 with haste, which is technically pretty goddamn power intense. Uh, but at, at the same time, meh. You know, it's it's probably not gonna win the game for you, as sad as that may sound. What the hell is this? Wait, did we play yesterday against something similar? Hmm, good question, me myself. Okay, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I was gonna play... No, 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 no. <sighs> nah, I'm gonna play it. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. Even though there was a serious point in just playing the flame and this guy. There was, because I could use squash to get rid of that. Admittedly, I usually use squash to get rid of planeswalkers. He is the Ragdos coloration, which means he could theoretically ru uh, run a planeswalker or two. I'm not currently rushing too much for anything, like, look at this guy. He's just gonna slowly lose life, and pff, I I'm completely fine with that. Absolutely no problem with that, uh, with that, boys. If he loses life, I'm just happy noises. 
Okay. So, ooh, ooh, man, this is options. Okay, so the thing is, do I attack? I probably do. He's gonna sack the eye twitch, but at the end of the day, oh, I, I guess it's, it's not, not attacking is just stupid, right? The only problem really currently is the fact that I want that fifth land. Which would be tremendously useful for us because of Battle of Frostfire. Uh, but, you know, uh, beggars can't be choosers to a degree. Worst case scenario, he kills the Quakebringer, which is most likely what he's gonna obviously do. But if he does that, then I just drop this guy. And this steel deals 6 damage to him, and that's a lot of damage. Oh my... No, wait, he can sack the treasures. What am I even thinking? Yeah, he can just sack the treasures. Plus one counters for each mana spent, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no one cares the card. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 dude. Dude, that is greedy Stevie plays. Those are just absolute greed, greed plays. If I get this down now, you, you are done. You, you are literally done because I will be able to just to play the uh, the Shatter Skull Charger constantly now. Yeah, this guy... You, you need to cast the Necrotic Fumes, dude. Seriously. Like, have you not played against Giants? It's just, you can't keep the Giants up. They're Giants for a reason. And by the way, this would probably be the second best type. Yeah, there we go. So he's sacking that. Okay, well, you sack that. Strange sack. Is this... Yeah. Yeah, just strange sack, I guess. Okay, so what do I drop now? Obviously this. Uwu Ava. Whenever a creature or planeswalker opponent controls is dealt uh, excess damage, uh, damage if a giant wizard or spell you control, blah, blah, blah. A.K. I can, I, I can, I can get stuff. I can get stuff. And also, he's blocking this, so I'm drawing a card anyway. Again. What? How do you come to the conclusion that that's the play? Cat on purple for luck. But how do you come... To Dude, this guy is just out of his depth currently. Are you looking at my land and thinking I'm gonna just land destruction or something? Because that's gonna be even less funny. Uh, if I want, I can just squash anything you play, anything you have. If you do nothing, I can just squash Cinderclasm. There's, uh, there's options. I have no idea what that does. Uh, well, that's cute, I guess. Village rights? Village rights is the only thing that currently. Oh my god! He just chose dead, didn't he? Okay, cute. So first of all, I draw a card. Thank you very much. And he surrenders. Makes sense. Makes sense. That is currently two wins in a row. I will not be surprised if this is Dimir at this point. Dimir again. Flat out the best thing to play against giants. Because, well, ev everyone probably knows this, it's, it's, it's no secret, but the, the slower Z deck, uh, the better it is for control to play against it. Watch, watch, black man, black man. Tol I told you, I told you. I told you. <laughs> did, did, did I just not tell you that? Did, did I just not tell you that this is exactly what's gonna happen? Magic the Gathering Arena. RNG, but some magically how beyond ludicrously predictable RNG, you know? It's it's so predictable, it's not even funny. I'm gonna drop this uh, with hopes that he will try to deal with it. Because I don't actually care about him currently. It's Dimir. We're gonna get no value off of him and, well, he, he is a big boy and he deals damage. But I'd ra much rather have him die than, for example, wah, 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 wah. That's fine. There we go. That's that's six damage. That was probably... I'm not gonna lie. That was probably not the play, dude. If you're trying to be greedy against giants... Yeah, in one foul swoop, you suddenly get damaged for, like, 50. 
It, it is not the play, sadly. It is just not the play, usually. You can technically do it, but usually it's not the play. Okay, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna drop a quake bringer. Oh god, it is just... Yeah, it is not the play. It is just flat out not the play most of the time. Okay, so here's the deal. He needs to kill this, but that still deals... Oh my! Is he just dead? Are you someone who's trying to play Dimir with counter, sp counter spells are so bad in this state? Yeah, oh my... Dude, I almost feel sad for this chump currently. Wow, that is just... I, I can bet you he just misplayed. That's it. Is the fourth win, po uh, fourth win possible in a row? I honestly think no. <laughs> I honestly think no. But if it's gonna be Dimir counter spells, it's definitely possible. Counter spells are currently just, ju just egregiously bad. I'm gonna keep this, even though this is probably the most garbage hand, but mulliganing is just, uh, verse. Verse on every account. <laughs> also, I think he just mulliganed two times? Or is it just me? I think he mulliganed two times. <gasps> three times? Now, that's definitely at the bare minimum two times, max three. Oh! Three win? Three win? Is it? Hate forget. Okay, a Luka avatar, pretty impressively sad. Okay, let's see what- Oh my god! You see, this is why you don't mulligan. This is flat out why you just don't mulligan. It's a bad idea from start to finish. Mulliganing doesn't give you an advantage. Mulliganing is like saying, yeah, wizards, I see that you want to make me suffer, and now I'm, j I'm just gonna, like, do it even- I I'm gonna just do one better on myself for no reason. I admittedly said the guy who literally has all the land- Five lands, which is good, uh, but <laughs> doesn't have anything else to go with it, because that's all five- Oh, oh, oh! I'm gonna just most likely kill that. Equip one, really? Um... Julio, Brolio, I guess. So let's do this. Ah, yes. Oh, do I want to go for the squash? Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, let's squash his dreams. It's over. Oh, you tried so hard and you got so far. In the end, it was just all mom's spaghetti. Oh, right, that thing does that. That's quite annoying. Well, whatever, attack. Man, th this is why you don't mulligan an arena. There's no point. If wizards, if wizards literally just tells you, yeah, we are completely 100% influencing probabilities of your games, you know, and you still mulligan, even though they have literally admitted freely of their own will that they influence the uh, the probability of uh, you know what happens in this game, and and you, it's just dumb. What what else can I say here? It, it is just dumb. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? Probably this. You know what else? I could do the yeah. I'm gonna just do that. I'm just gonna do that. What is he gonna do? What do you think he's gonna do? Not block? This is, by the way, one of the verse dragons, probably. At least I see it as one of the verse dragons. I like how it looks. Biased, but whatever. Okay, so you lost. Congratulations. You mulligan down to zero, and you literally have had more than a 50% land draw ratio. I, I applaud you, my good sir, because you are now... Literally just a statistic. <laughs> God, this is such a skill-based game. I love it. So skill. Much skill. I hope you like the deck. I personally kind of think this deck is cool. Considering the giants don't have uh, don't have the condition that, you know, you play a giant and usually to get synergy with most cards you need to play another card. No, giants just synergize with giants already existing and there's no uh, alternative uh, way to actually proc them. So that's extremely, extremely, extremely powerful and good and whatnot, right? 
I like the deck, it's pretty good. If you're gonna be playing against Dimit, you will most likely have problems. If you're gonna be playing against Golgari, it's like, eh. Hard removal that ignores HP is pre it, it is the thing that's gonna win against this deck. But against creature decks, giants just have an overwhelming advantage. Even against Cleric Pyre, giants will have an overwhelming advantage. So there you go. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye bye.